What's going on guys, my name is Embrace the Pace and today I'm going to be breaking down my 2019 draft class that just released on PS4 for NBA 2K17. All the information is on screen for you guys to go download it. The file name is 2019 with accurate faces plus ratings and the online ID is Embrace the Pace. So go search that online ID, download the draft class and now you guys can extend your My League and My GMs one year further into the future with a realistic draft class. So in this video, I'm basically just going to be talking about the features of the class, telling you guys everything you need to know about it, um, about the players that are included and why I decided to include those players. I'll also talk a little bit about um, what we're going to be doing as far as updates, because this one's going to work a little bit differently than my 2017 and 2018 classes. But before I go into all that, I first want to tell you guys why I decided to do this. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that this is the first time in the three years that I've been making draft classes on 2K that I've released a third class. I've always just done two per year. And it's not that I've had people um, you know, not wanting it. I've had people ask me a lot to do a third class, to even do a fourth class on the year. And I haven't been able to accommodate those requests um, because simply these draft classes take an unbelievable amount of time. I don't think a lot of people actually realize how much much time I put into this um, but it's actually insane and uh, I just it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort and a lot of research to get these draft classes done but this year has been the year that I've probably put in the most work on these draft classes I've been on the grind since release and I wanted to make these uh, the best draft classes that I've ever made um, and the best draft classes that you guys are going to have to play with on 2k and I've added so many guys to my 2017 and 2018 classes that I've basically run out of creative player slots now. You only get 150 and I'm pushing that limit right now. And I had added just about everybody I felt was needed in the 2017 and 2018 class and I decided, you know what, let's just go for it. Let's make a small 2019 class for the biggest supporters. And that's really what this project is dedicated to. It's dedicated to you guys that have been with me from the beginning, since I started this in 2K15. The amount of support and enthusiasm and feedback you guys have given to me has been awesome. I've had so much fun making these draft classes and I wanted to do this special project just for you guys. So thank you guys so much for everything. I'm excited for you guys to get this draft class and I think you guys are gonna like it a lot. So with that, we'll go ahead and jump into it and I'll talk about this a little bit. So it has 14 real players in the class, 10 or 12 of which are 2018 high school prospects. So kids that are gonna be graduating from high school in 2018. Two of them or two of the 14 players are college players and there are 17 fictional players. So right off the bat, that's immediately different than my other draft classes. I haven't included fictional players in my other draft classes because the classes have generally been full. I've got over 60 players in both my 2017 and 2018 class so you can have a full realistic draft. With this one, um, there's just no way to get that many players in a 2019 class. There's no way to really project that far into the future. I mean, we're talking about 16, 17 year old kids here. We really have no clue what's gonna happen in the future. And uh, there's just not that much information out there. So I wanted to make sure I got the top guys in there, um, but I wanted to fill out the class with um, fictional players and I think that'll add a lot of variety and you guys will have a lot of fun with that. I'll talk about the fictional players in a second but first let's talk about the real players that are added. So like I said there are 12 high school prospects and the way I came up with this and the guys to add is I basically went to three of the leading recruiting services online which are ESPN, Scout.com, and 24-7 Sports. I took all the names that appeared in their top 10 rankings and then I averaged all of those and got the average ranking for each prospect across all three sites and I came up with the top 10. And those top 10 guys that are included are Marvin Bagley III who is the consensus number one recruit in that class. Romeo Langford, Moses Brown, Cameron Reddish, Zion Williamson, I'm sure you guys have seen his highlights on social media, Simi Chateau, Jordan Brown, uh, EJ Montgomery, uh, we have Darius Garland, and Emmanuel Quickly. Now those are the top 10 prospects that I added. And there are also two other prospects from the class of 2018 that did not average in the top 10 but are still highly ranked recruits. And I wanted to add them in because I'm sure you guys 
will want to have them in there. And those players are Bol Bol and Sharif O'Neal. And those are the sons of Manute Bol and Shaq. So I've had a lot of people ask me to do tutorials on those guys. And there will be tutorials on those guys as well as a few other players in this class as well. And then everyone from all my draft classes will all have a tutorial. But the guys that I don't do individual tutorials for, I'll put them all in one big video. And that will be coming out pretty soon. But anyway, those are the 12 high school players that are included. Two college players are included right now. And those players are Kyle Guy which may be a little bit of UVA bias from me, but I think you guys will love playing with him. And then also, Costas Andetacumbo. And I really wanted to add him in there, and basically this is how I came to that conclusion, um, to get him in there. So there's actually only one 2019 mock draft online right now, and it had Costas Andetacumbo uh, projected in the top 10. And I don't know how credible that source is um, or anything like that, but I thought I, I would add him in there because I think you guys will enjoy playing with him. Obviously, you guys can tell that is Giannis's brother. And he's currently a freshman at Dayton, but he's redshirting this year because he was ruled ineligible by the NCAA. It probably had something to do with high school classes not transferring or something like that. That happens a lot of times for guys, and the NCAA is really weird about all that stuff. Um, so he's redshirting this year, but he will be playing at Dayton next year. So uh, definitely a cool prospect, and I think you guys will have fun with him. As far as the fictional players in this draft class, uh, there are 17 of them. And the reason why I wanted to do fictional players is because, like I said, we don't have a ton of real players in here. Um, we do have the top guys, but I wanted to fill out the class with fictional players because I know how it is with those randomly generated 2K players. 2K does a horrible job with their auto-generated draft classes. Their players don't even look like humans. They've got distorted faces. They've got crazy hair. They've got accessories that no one would ever wear. Uh, it's just ridiculous, and I think they should really... Um, pay more attention to that. That seems like a really easy thing to fix, but they just won't do it. Uh, so I wanted to get some fictional guys in there. Um, and I think you guys would be wise to scout them and draft them in your My League and My GM. Uh, lots of good prospects in there. I edited them fully with tendencies, attributes, accessories, everything like that to fit specific player types. Um, so they're definitely worth checking out and worth drafting, and they can turn into good players in My League and My GM. Um, as far as updates go, that's the last thing I'll talk about. Uh, this draft class won't really be updated the same way as my other ones. Obviously, I'm out of creative player slots, and I want to kind of keep this one to the top prospects in 2019, and then the fictional players. I will probably be adding more fictional players at some point in the future, because uh, they don't take that long to make. Uh, so I'll add more of those guys, but as far as real players added, I won't add any more uh, from scratch, but something that I might actually do is move a few players from my 2018 class to this 2019 class. Some guys that are McDonald's All-Americans that I added to my 2018 class that might not be one and dones, maybe like Nick Richards or Billy Preston or Jalen Hands or Mitchell Robinson or some guys like that. Uh, I may move them to the 2019 class, but again, that's not something that I'm 100% sure about, but make sure to follow me on Twitter and uh, I'll keep you guys updated with that. So that's pretty much all I have to say. I'll just scroll through here so you guys can see the faces of all the players um, that are included in this. Once again, thank you guys so much for all the support. I really appreciate it. And I'm super excited that I was able to do this extra project and uh, get it out to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the draft class. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.